What's up guys, Ranger here, and welcome back to <clears throat> another another reaction, which is to the long-awaited uh, reaction to episode 15, uh, which is made in uh, Manhattan. And so, again, really sorry that it's taken me this long to get to it. Um, I'm really sorry about that. I wanted to get to it a lot sooner, but... Uh, and people have been telling me... People have been urging me, do uh, episode 18, which premiered yesterday, and I want to get these episodes done first in order, so let's go ahead and get on with this one without further ado. Let me start the episode, which is Made in Manhattan. Let me start the thing. Stop, 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 stop. Thank you very much. Okay, full screen. Come back. Okay, this is episode 15, Made in Manhattan. Start a video on three. Two, one, click. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Dwayne. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so. That's adorable. <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> I've read all these books already. <laughs> And? And I'm bored. I want to do something. Things have been so slow around here and Twilight! I just... Rarity? Oh, Twilight, darling! Oh, thank goodness! It seems that my... <clears throat> Applejack? Got here as fast as I could. Oh, no. Yes! Finally! We've been summoned. I wonder where the map uh, is. Uh, Twi... <laughs> cut the intro to make it shorter. I cut the intro to make it shorter. I've, I, I, oh. Oh, We've been called to oh, I've so when do you get to go to Japan or Japan? I return with a purpose. <laughs> that face. It looks like you've been summoned to this particular neighborhood here. We're off to solve a friendship problem in one of the busiest and most vibrant <laughs> cities in all of Equestria. <clears throat> Boy, White Diamonds is going to enjoy this one, isn't she? Seems a hair odd, though, don't it? Map call Rare Jack artist, on um, Derpy like Brew, Manhattan. and DeviantArt. You may be more of a country pony at heart, Applejack, but the map picked you two because you're the best ponies to tackle this particular mission. But how will we even know what our mission's supposed to be? That neighborhood probably has twice as many ponies as all of Ponyville. Look, more like three times. Why, it's not only home to the haypacking district, it's also home to the fashion district. Oh, that's why. Hmm, shame you weren't called as well, though, darling. You did end up quite a fan of the hustle and bustle of Manhattan on our last visit. It's such an exciting city, and there's still so much I'd like to do there. So many museums and historical landmarks to visit, not to mention all the libraries. <laughs> Your mission. Don't worry about me. I've got plenty of books to keep me busy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, Twilight, there are some really good comics out there. The Sisterhood Social. Uh oh. We'll have to miss it. No telling how long we'll be in Manhattan. I sure hope Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle aren't too upset. Wow. Oh, I, I like that bridge. I like the design for that. Oh, Sing it in the rain. Here we go again. <laughs> yep, just like New York. I love the design on that uh, suitcase. Ears open. <laughs> I... Run, <laughs> run, don't dawdle unless you want to get trampled. Jack, you're in the big city now. No moseying. You've got to walk with speed and confidence. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is like Frogger. Only it's Jacker. <laughs> I was half 
having a goofy flashback there. Yes, I think this is the one. No, 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 Meanwhile, somebody probably just lost an eye. Ow! <laughs> I love this episode. There's so many gags in it. Lovely. How much would you like for it? Oh, no, please, please keep it. I can always make another. Thank you. You thought we wouldn't hey. our purpose here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. What? We just saved that poor pony from committing a terrible crime of fashion. <laughs> their face. Could have been meeting a friend would have laughed at a new hat and then their friendship could have been ruined forever and well, it's possible did your cutie mark glow signifying a job well done <laughs> no I suppose it didn't still a disaster was averted that 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 was a side quest that was a side quest that she just done I am so, so sorry I never meant to feed it my sincerest apologies for the misunderstanding. Side quest completed. What a lovely establishment you have here. All right, Applejack. The search continues. Excuse me. I was just wondering. Friendship problem, any pony? See, we've been sent here to. A map summoned us, and if you could just take a moment. Friendship advice. Any pony looking for. Oh god! This, this, Charlie Brown reference, isn't it? Charlie Brown reference. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. This is Charlie Brown reference, isn't it? Even sure what the map called me here for. Oh, try not to worry, Applejack. The map picked us for a reason. Although, how am I supposed to uncover that reason? The only thing that could have made it better is if she had said, "You blockhead." And it lands, of course. Please help us restore our long lost but beloved tradition, the Midsummer Theater Revival. Said the guest performance by local theater troupe, the Method Mayors, as well as games, food, and much, much more. This event promises Car show? to bring our Brooklyn neighbors together and restore our sense of community, but there's so much to do and we need your help. Huh. <gasps> Darling, this is it! The contact on the flyer is Coco Palmel! What? We're gonna see Coco again? Sweet! I'm making costumes for that designer friend of yours. Don't you see? This must be why the map called us here. Oh, and you were so worried. Well, I suppose it's at least worth looking into. That is, if we can ever get off this street corner. <laughs> well, you could hail a cab, but. I can't believe you found my flyer. Quite a Coco! Oh my god! Specifically summoned here to be of service. Aw, that's you, adorable. My dear friend, are in need of help. Aw, no Applejack cuteness. It's fate. This midsummer theater revival. What is it exactly? Hello, aw, Coco. An outdoor play held at the community park. Many moons ago, local theater troops would perform, and ponies in the neighborhood would help make the costumes, that's her. design set pieces, yep, that's her. prepare food to share during the performance. Y'all do look like you're enjoying each other's company. Kind of reminds me of Ponyville. <laughs> it sounds lovely, darling. It was. Up until several moons ago. Hmm? What happened? That's Charity Kindheart. She was a well-known costume designer on Bridal Way. She started Bro. the Midsummer Theater Revival as a way to share her passion for theater with the neighborhood. No matter how busy she was, hmm. she always made time for the revival. But when she moved away to be closer to her grand fillies, the neighborhood lost the special tradition she had started. That's and her worse, apartment. I love the atmosphere. Look at that. Look at that lighting. Look at the atmosphere. Hey, I'm trotting here. No pony else stepped up to take over for charity. I've been trying oh, to. Oh, look at that. That's I beautiful. I love this. I love this. Filly, and I'm afraid I haven't made much progress. Ooh. There's just so much to do to bring back the Midsummer Revival, and my flyers haven't attracted a single volunteer. <laughs> Say no more. You They're making a lot of awesome faces this season. Up to your mane and ponies who want to lend a hoof. Applejack and I will make sure of it. You will? <laughs> you bet your boots we will. Oh, I don't wear boots. I find they chafe my calves when I walk. 
It's just an expression. <laughs> so you see, the method mares are only available on Cousin, the let's go bowling. Sorry, I had to preparations. Yeah, not a good time right now. <laughs> They're in Manhattan, I mean come on. Good time. GTA four. <laughs> well, what do you think? I got my own problems. You think I got hours to dedicate to some pony else's? Ah, uh, yes. Charity's Midsummer Theater Revival. Such wonderful memories. Oh, boys. So you'll help us? Nope. Oh, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I run a very important oat and hay import-export business. What? I can't spare even a moment for such things. Oh. Of course. This is a nightmare. Oh, not at all, darling. It's quite lovely. I think she was <laughs> talking about the Midsummer Theater revival. I finished the alterations for my fair filly, but have barely started the costumes for the revival, and the Method Mares are coming to the park tomorrow for a costume fitting and rehearsal. Well, I could help you with the costumes. You know what? But what are we going to do about the rest? I gotta say this. The park is in desperate need of repairs, and the sets still need to be built. I want to oh, see a holiday-based episode things? set in Manhattan. Uh, well, my thing. Where they get to see the tree lighting ceremony. Does anybody else want to see that? Manhattan in winter. It'd be like Rock. It would be like Rockefeller Center. More than we could handle. Everything is going to be just fine. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Well. Oh dear, you're right. Are you sure you can manage this by yourself? Well, there's a lot to do, but Rarity's right. The map wouldn't have called us here if we weren't up for the challenge. You two go on and take care of the costumes. I'll see you at the dress rehearsal. Just gonna take a long time. Oh. I know that feeling. Uh, AJ? Please don't run over your hat. Ow! Uh oh. Uh. Watch out! Oh, come on. Poor AJ. Dry rotted. I know it looks bad, but I'm moving as fast as I can. Uh, okay, I would have done that. Yeah. We've still got plenty of time. Everything's going. Um. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. Is this where the Midsummer Theater revival is supposed to be? Pardon? I like her. She's cool. Uh, we're here for the dress rehearsal. Oh, yes. We've just put the finishing touches on the costumes. At least those look professional. Huh? We'll do a dry run of the play first, and then the fitting. No, wait! Oh, no. I haven't got a chance to... Oh. Run! Ah. Uh. Oh boy. Reinforce the stage yet. Ah. Uh -huh. I just wanted to live up to Charity's example. To bring my neighborhood together again. The park is still a mess. We haven't even thought about what refreshments to serve during the performance. And even if we had, we don't have a stage for the method mayors to perform. I love Coco on this. I, I, I love the atmosphere with just her. Hopeless. I, don't I love her apartment too. I mean, I love like the decoration and se the setting Didn't overall. It, but why did it send the two of us? Why not Twilight? I'm sure she could have used her magic to transform this park in an instant. I've been thinking the same thing. I mean, I can at least see why you're here. Coco's your friend, and you have an eye for costumes and all. But me? I was never gonna be able to finish a project this big. To oh gosh. And the shipping has already commenced. I know that. Shut it. I'm not suggesting we pack up and go home. Then what are you suggesting? 
I'm suggesting we stop worrying about what we can't do and start doing what we can. I think I've got a plan. It won't be anything big or fancy, but it'll be something. And something's gotta be better than nothing, right? I suppose so. That's the spirit! Sorta. Of. <laughs> Alright, y'all. It's ready. Oh. Should we go ahead and start? Excuse me? I'm Charity Kindheart. I'm here about the open design position. I brought some samples of my work. I'm sorry I'm late. I had the hardest time finding my way here. I just moved here, <laughs> and I keep getting mixed up by the street names. I had a map, but I dropped it in a puddle, which only made the street names harder to read. I see. What is that? I don't know, so that looks like some kind of play. Well, can we stay and watch it, please? Please, can we, can we? Oh, all right. I suppose we could stay for a minute. <laughs> Excuse me, but your next appointment... I like her accent. Yeah. All right, send him in. I'm sorry, but based on these samples, I just don't think this is the place for you. <gasps> don't get me wrong, these clothes are all exquisite and well-made, but more theatrical than avant-garde. Have you considered costume design? I have a contact on Bridal Way. If you're interested, I can put you in touch with him. And see. Charity, dear! Is that you? Hello, Mrs. Pear Blossom. I didn't see... Oops! Oh, let me help you, dear. Are these the costumes you've been working on? Yes, I was supposed to be finished by now, but there's just so much to do, and I still have a few last-minute alterations to make before opening night. I'm sorry I couldn't get enough tickets for every pony in the neighborhood. I hope Mr. Pear Blossom wasn't too disappointed. I know Trotter on the Roof is one of his favorites. Oh, my dear Philly, don't worry about that. We are so proud of you. We shall be with you in spirit. Thank you. You've all made me feel so welcome here and have become like family to me. I just wish I could share this experience with you and the others. Yeah, uh, what's going on? It's the Midsummer Theater Revival. The Method Man's up before me. She's adorable. Uh, the Revival. <laughs> yeah, my pop used to bring me. Huh. So I love the heartwarming atmosphere with this. It's so I beautiful. Have done it without every pony's help. I know it's not bright away, but oh, pistosh. It's perfect, dear. I'm wondering if she's related uh, to Bab Seed because there's just a similar oh, connection. You're such a dear. Thank you. This is so nice. Haven't seen the neighborhood this friendly since Charity moved away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, fillies and gentle coats. Please give a warm welcome to the one who made this entire event possible. Coco. Our neighbor, Coco Pomel. <laughs> Crowd surfing. <clears throat> Thank you all so much for coming. The Midsummer Theater revival was always something that meant so much to me. And it seems it means quite a lot to all of you as well. I really can't take all the credit, though. My dear friends Rarity and Applejack <laughs> me ever so much. <laughs> oh, darling, please. It was just a few costumes. Oh, shucks. I just happened to be good with a hammer is all. To be honest, we had much bigger plans to start. When those fell through, we decided to simplify. This here was the result. Oh, don't be so modest. Coco and I were lost. You bet your boots we were. <laughs> Adorable. I shipped them. I shipped those two. We just wanted to see how much we enjoyed the Midsummer Theater revival and how much it inspired us. Oh, yeah? 
I used to think that to help my community, I had to do something big. <laughs> and let's face it, in this day and age, who has the time for such a commitment? But here, you did something as simple as building a stage and putting on a play. And <laughs> look at how it's brought every pony together. I saw Coco's flyers for volunteers, but didn't think anything I'd have time to do would be that useful. I'm just going to say it. I'm calling that guy Wilfred Warstache, okay? I'm saying it. The mustache, the hair looks very similar. I'm calling him Wilford Warstash. I am. I think we'll be alone. Hmm. Yeah! <laughs> 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 I understand now. It all makes perfect hmm? sense. Huh? Uh. I know why the map called you here. Hmm? You do? If Twilight had used her magic to fix the park, it wouldn't have fixed the real problem. Which is that these main oh. ponies didn't think they had time to do something for their community. Right. But by building that stage and making sure the play went on, you showed them that just by doing something small, you can make a big difference. Well, I'll be. Seems you have more in common with the Manhattan ponies than you thought. <laughs> But all the same. White Diamonds is gonna love this episode, I'm sure. I wanna check in with Apple Bloom and find out how the sister hub social turned out. Oh, absolutely, my dear. Just as soon as I stop that pony in the shop over there from purchasing that dreadfully hideous scarf, sir, you're making a terrible mistake! You know what? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna say it different outro. Okay. I'm gonna shut it for now. Wait, I screwed it up. I love the banjo on this. I'm not really. I'm just talking again, dang it. Okay. Okay, I love the banjo on that. I'm not really. A, I'm not really completely fond of, of country music, but I like that. Okay. You know what? It would have been, I'm just saying, it would have been a comical after effect to after Rarity ran across the street, you suddenly hear like tires squealing and then like hear like a crash and then like Applejack like cringe and, and then you hear Rarity, I'm okay. I'm just saying, you know, you know, like a comical cartoonish after effect. Okay, now, the story, I, sorry, <clears throat> okay, yeah, okay. I absolutely love this episode. There's a lot to love about this episode, and I really do. I I I, I love I love this episode. Now, story-wise, it, it might not have a big, you know, like a big, uh, huge story with like a lot going on. It, it's a pretty simplistic story. It's more of a slow-paced story, but. I really love how that it was handled. I absolutely love the episode. We got to see Coco Pomel come back, and I absolutely love how that her character was in this. And then the scene transitions, it was wonderful to be able to go back to Manhattan again, to be able to see all the different scenes and everything, to be able to see a little bit more and have a little bit more of that particular culture explored. <clears throat> and I'm sure that a lot of people that, you know, like live in the country and live in, live in, the city can actually relate to can actually relate to that transition. I more relate to Applejack in terms of like a smaller community, and you know not really having to worry about a whole lot of traffic. Although from time to time, you know, depending on the top on the top of you know like on what type of day or what, sorry what time that you go out, I can experience a little bit of traffic. But I know for a fact that it's not nowhere near like in New York. But um, I, I'm really happy to be able. Uh, I'm really happy that they actually went back. To Manhattan again, and uh, that they actually explored a, a little bit more with that. And like I said, uh, the scene transitions, uh, the scene transitions, and everything, the scenes that they use, it, <clears throat> especially with Coco Pomel's apartment and everything, and like having her standing on on her her balcony and everything. I absolutely love that. It's it it's little subtle simplistic things like that that just help to make a scene and help to make a character they're not any really big flashy moments or any flashy movements it's very calm very 
very serene, very small, and very subtle. And for me, that's that's very that is something worth note or worth taking note of. It's very it's very very beautiful, and it helps to it helps to add the feeling and the atmosphere. And then also, like I said, with the story, I love it. And the main concept of uh, the moral of you know like how a little thing can actually have a how a little thing can actually have a major impact. Whenever they said that moral, it immediately hit me. <clears throat> Markiplier immediately came to mind, and how he wants to try to help as many people as he can, and how he tries to do as much as he can, and how just one of his videos have helped so many people. And it brought that to mind, and it was whenever that happened that I started thinking about you know Wilfred Warstash, and um, but it but it it brought that to mind, and it really it it really does, I mean that that is really true. Um, sometimes the, just the smallest little thing can actually have the largest impact. And just, you know, whenever you, sometimes, you know, you can do something and you don't think that it means it, you, that it, it, it doesn't mean anything. And a lot of us, and myself included, we've had, we, we, we have all had times in our lives whenever we've done something and we didn't think that it meant, we, uh, we honestly didn't feel that it meant, any, that it meant anything. But maybe to someone else, two or three more people, maybe it did mean something. And so... Again, I love the moral for that, and I love I love the moral, you know, the message and everything that that they conveyed, and it it is really true, and I I love the story, and how that it was handled. It wasn't big, it wasn't flashy, it, it wasn't really energetic. It was more calm and sort of more natural, in a way. I mean, don't get me wrong, me, you know, energetic episodes, you know, like with Pinky, I absolutely adore. It as well but it's nice from time to time to get episodes like these where have a slow paced story that has a really good payout at the end I mean it has a really solid message and everything it's very solid it may move at a slow pace but it does have a very solid foundation within it and you know uh, I, I, because of that I absolutely adore this episode and um, then the character the character interactions with Rarity and Applejack were also awesome as well I mean, two ponies from two completely different walks of life interacting, you know, working together to help out a friend. Again, absolutely love that. And um, what that's really all that I can say uh, about this episode. It was very awesome. And then uh, one other thing was like uh, uh, that one stallion there that said that his uh, say he said that his dad used to bring him there. That was sort of. I mean, I know for some people that, I mean, myself included, that's sort of something that just hits, you know, like those memories, you know, like memories of, of things whenever you were growing up and then you get to experience it again. All those memories just come flooding back. And, you know, and because of that, that it was just such a warm, heartfelt episode. And I really love it for that. And just being able to, you know, experience that and, um, there are times like there I mean like 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 with my like with my with my grandmother's house uh, she's gone now but I can walk through her house and just I can like every single room has memories and I can walk in any particular area of the house and I just have memories flooding back to me of whenever she was alive and so you know this episode again it's a very warm very heartfelt very beautiful episode and that's really all that I can say about it I know there I, I know there are plenty of other reactors and reviewers that are actually going that that would be able to put it into better words but a lot better words but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and um, to everybody that worked on this episode again thank you to everybody that worked on this episode this was a very beautiful episode I, I really did love it and um, thank you guys again for joining me, and uh, hopefully I will see you guys again next time with the next video that I do. Take care.